Welcome back to the Kitchen Kitchen. I'm Joe, and if you like the episode, you can subscribe to the show. Holy smokes, folks. Better buckle those seatbelts, because today, just like our subscriber numbers, we are cooking with gasoline. Over a hundred there on the YouTube. Hundred two, hundred three. Pretty good. So for the 103 people tuning in for this recipe, we are bringing the heat. Today, it's carbonara, AKA the coal miner spaghetti, AKA the bacon, egg, and cheese pasta. Now, I know there's some Italian out there saying, non è veramente carbonara, perché non è il guanciale. Slow down, bud, slow down. Here's the thing about the carbonara, it's a work of art. And once you release art out into the world, it's not yours anymore. It's whatever the folks make of it. You might even make a meme out of it one day. So God bless you lovely Italians for releasing the art of the carbonara onto the world. First time I had it, I said, that's a bacon, egg, and cheese pasta right there. And so, you know, the kitchen kitchen carbonara might not have the guanciale or the pancetta, so maybe that makes it a Midwest carbonara. I'll tell you what it does have though, it's got the goods. And I got almost all of them from Costco. Kirkland bacon. They got the low sodium version in the red pack, but I got the wholesome blue. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese pasta. What, am I worried about my cholesterol? Garofalo spaghetti noodles, non-GMO verified. You know, sometimes you gotta take a step back and say, is this really what we've come to? We gotta verify that nobody GM'd our O's? Who the heck want a GMO in the first gosh darn place? Got no business doing that. Then again, maybe that's kinda like us, making a carbonara. What are you gonna do? Now for the cheese, we're gonna use a Pecorino Romano. I used to use a Parmigiano Reggiano. They're both hard cheeses, but the Pecorino Romano is made with sheep's milk, whereas the Parmigiano Reggiano is made with cow's milk. So you're gonna get a little bit of a different tang from the Pecorino. It's also not aged as long as the Parmigiano, so it's a little softer and emulsifies real nice in the other ingredient of our sauce, which is eggs. Two eggs per person in this carbonara, which means we're doing four eggs because it's one pasta for me and one pasta for Danny who's operating the camera. By the way, thanks for helping me do this, Danny. Guy comes over on the first Sunday of the NFL season to help me make a YouTube video and he's getting paid in pasta? That's a friend right there. I'm also gonna throw an onion in the mix and I tell you why, it just kinda feels right. Feels right at home in the carbonara. Danny, you ever see that Chef John Pierce say onion? To the good onion. Good onion is a heavy onion. It's a six pound onion. It's also an onion where the onion is put. This is the tip of the onion, of the onion. The onion is not the knife around the onion. Gripes, there sure are some kooky accents out there. At the end, we're also gonna sprinkle a little herb in there. Now you can try different herbs to see which direction they take your carbonara in. Parsley, thyme, oregano, rosemary. Probably not cilantro though. Whereas the onion feels right at home in the carbonara, the cilantro will probably just be a little too different. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Those don't come until the end and we haven't even chopped anything yet. Speaking of chopping things, we're gonna sharpen our knife because we're cutting things it's not that hard to do and we're not lazy. Then we're dicing our onion. I like to cut it in half and leave the root intact. That way it all stays together when I make the slits for the dicing. You see that? Oh, okay, throw those off into a bowl and then we're on to our bacon. Probably go about three, four strips per person. So for Danny and me, that's about half a pack. I like to roll the bacon like that, then cut it into nice little chunks. And without further ado, we are cooking with gasoline. <laughs> I do the bacon kind of low because it gives me time to do the other stuff. Then let's get our pasta water going. Gotta salt it good. Salty like the sea, they say. So for us, that means about a punch of salt. Remember when Lefty was cooking for Donnie? Punch of salt. Punch. Punch. Punch of salt. Punch of pinch. what I say? Pinch. what I say? I said pinch. Nah, you said punch. Sometimes you don't make no sense, Donnie. Over here in our mixing bowl, we're cracking the eggs in. Here's the thing though. It's only the yolks that go in there. I guess if you want more protein, you can add whites too, but for this carbonara, it's just yolks. Yeah, what the heck, let's put a white in there. Now the bacon's done and the water's boiling, we're gonna take the bacon out and just set it on a plate for a second. Then turn up the heat a little and get these onions going. I'm gonna reduce the temp of the water just a little bit, then drop in our spaghetti noodles. We'll keep an eye on those while everything else is going. I grated the Pecorino Romano earlier to get it ready to add. You wanna grate it as super finely as you can because we're trying to get it all emulsified up in the eggs there. Get a lot of cheese in there. I mean, be really liberal with it. Super liberal. You want an AOC amount of cheese in there. And then you're whisking it up real nice. We'll whisk it more and more as we go along. Onions are coming along, noodles are cooking, and we're still whisking. We got our noodles real al dente. Not too soft at all, just a real nice pop when you bite down into them. Then we'll lower the temp on them because they're almost ready to go. Taking a cup of pasta water, gotta do it. It's gonna help thicken our sauce and make it bind to the noodles real well. Just a little and a whisk. And we're whisking and we're whisking. Slowly adding more cheese as we go along. And we're whisking and we're whisking. Onions are done, so they're going in. I like adding the bacon grease in there with them. 
Truthfully, this pecorino is not emulsifying as much as I had hoped. I think it's because I didn't grate it finely enough. Should have used the other grater that the wife picked up. But we already made it this far and I just heard Danny's tum tum growling. So onward friends, onward. The bacon can go in there too. And we're whisking and we're whisking. Then we're gonna take our al dente spaghetti and toss it in our sauce. Plate that up, hit it with the Kirkland crushed red pepper and our herbs, and what do you think, Danny? Thanks for watching Kitchy Kitchen.